Okay, in this uh, series of tutorials, we're going to learn how to take our text-based, console-based super to-do list, uh, where we can you know, print a list, make a list of items, uh, kind of a to-do list, and we can do things like adding tasks, we can search for a task, we can delete tasks, we can sort them, print a random task, uh, reset the list, etc., etc. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take that uh, kind of classic look, shall we call it, and turn it into a nice little GUI. Um, now this is the first stage of the GUI where everything's kind of in a big column. Um, later what we'll do is we'll learn how to turn that into a nicely formatted uh, version. So uh, let's get started. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of this because we're saying goodbye to that. And when we're doing this we want to think about, move that over a little bit, and we want to think about uh, our GUI. So what elements do we need in our GUI? So the elements will be the first thing we're going to work on. So as you see we have a window and so we got our root window over here. And this is kind of our boilerplate. This is just how we start out a, a TK enter GUI. Note this is Python 2.7 so if you're using Python 3 the uh, capitalization will be a little bit different and some other little things. So we've got uh, to-do list here and this is a label so this we can't type in that. Uh, we have a text uh, entry widget uh, where we're going to enter tasks. So I have call mom, I might say buy a guitar, and I click add task, and it appears down here. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buttons, which do various things, uh, and we'll talk about that as we move on. And we have at the bottom, we have something called a list box, which is uh, just as you would expect it to be, a list of items and so we're going to learn how to you know do you know things with the list box uh, during this set of lessons but for now we're just going to learn how to set uh, this up and make it look uh, as it is so I'm going to move that off to the side and so TK enter so what we want to do is we want to create the widgets so I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom here and because that's something we're going to do uh, yeah, at the end so up here we have a bunch of uh, we have some code. We're going to define a few things. We're going to have basically functions uh, to run this program. So our first widget was the title widget. So it was a label type of widget. And again, if you keep your names consistent, it makes your code easier to read, easier to debug, and all that sort of thing. So it's okay, enter dot label. Label is capitalized. And root. So this tells us that the label that we're creating called label title, LBL underscore title, is going to go into the root window. It's a child of that root window. Text, so what do we want it to say? Equals, I'm going to call it to, oops, to do list. And I want the BG color to be white. Now on a Mac, I'm not sure this has an effect or not, but uh, yeah. On some systems, it's, it varies a little bit uh, from system to system. Okay. So I've created the widget. Now I have to actually put it into the root window. And so for now, we're going to use something called pack. Later, we'll learn how, about how to use a grid. Um, pack is what gives you, uh, just kind of packs it like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like one right after the other. Okay. Um, so actually let me yeah so let's do that so we could do the name and pack it and I'm gonna save that and let's test it and see what happens so I run it oops that wasn't very smart uh, label title dot pack okay, let's try that again run terminal okay so if I look uh, this is what I've got so far. So the label has appeared. Uh, so it's packed it and it's working. It looks just like how it's supposed to. So that was our first element. Um, and we still have several more. Uh, one thing I missed is that there is a an actual label here. So if I choose random, it appears here. So I choose random. Okay, so that is another label. And that one is called label display. So at this point, what I would recommend doing is, oops, is just maybe is just copying this and making changes 
where necessary. Okay, so this one's going to be called label display. This one's going to be called display. And the text obviously isn't going to be display. Uh, for this one, we want it started out uh, blank. So it started out blank when we started the program. So we'll just leave nothing in there. So let's uh, run that, check it. And it comes up over here. The to list, and you see it is, there's a little extra space here. That's where that is. Let's close that. Okay, now. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buttons. So let's uh, go ahead and do those real quick. So the first one was an input uh, box, entry, text entry, tk enter dot entry. Again, the parent is root, and we need to specify the width uh, in characters, and the width equals 15. So text input. Uh, uh, dot pack. Next one is the first button for adding a task. Sorry, I haven't written down over You might hear me shuffling some papers. So again, button add task. So this just makes it very, very clear which button we're referring to. So tk enter dot button root. Oops. So text equals. So add task. Um, specifying a foreground color, but that won't work in Mac, uh, but it will work on Linux. Uh, I don't know about Windows. Uh, white and command. So what's going to happen when we click this? And we're going to use a function. We're gonna, later we're going to create a function called add task. Okay, we haven't created that yet. So you notice how this says add task. This says add task. And later we're going to create the functions uh, called, you know, function add task. So now here's the thing. If I go so button dot input dot pack. Uh, I'm sorry, button dot add task dot pack. I'll save it, and if I run it, what's going to happen? We've got an error. Okay, so line 29. Here's the line. It says add task is not defined. Okay, so I'm telling it to add to do the function called add task, but we haven't created it yet, so we get an error. So what we can do is while we're programming this, is to also create the functions. So if you do a little bit of planning ahead of time, uh, it makes things uh, quite a bit easier. So let me go ahead and so create functions. And so we define the function, and it was add task. And for now, we'll say no arguments. And I'm just going to use pass. So this this creates an empty function, and so that lets us test. Oops, I did button dot add task. And again, I'm leaving these in the video uh, just because these are the types of errors you you run into all the time. Um, period in the wrong spot, and underscore in the wrong spot, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so now you can see I've got my button. Okay, it doesn't do anything because there's no code, but I've created the button and the code at the same time. Okay, so next, so button. Now at this point, what you might want to do, this is probably how I would do it, is I would copy that. And delete the things that are going to be changed. So that's kind of a blank template. So we can copy that, and we know from here we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. So I'm going to go ahead and create. So that was the first one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that was the end of period one, by the way. Button add task. Then we had uh, delete. All. Okay, so because that's going to delete all tasks. So the text is delete all. And the command is going to be delete all. So again, if you keep it as consistent as possible, so it's button delete 
all. And we'll go back and do the functions in, in, a, in a bit. So button delete one, if we want to delete one. So is delete. And the command is delete one, or DL delete one. Button one. Uh, the next one is sort ascending. And I can do it this way, sort ascending. And I go over to the end, same thing, sort ASC. So as long as we keep the names consistent, it makes your life really, really easy. So sort descending. Oops. Sort descending. And sort See. Ooh, we forgot to put the uh, text in. So sort ascending and sort descending. Now our next button is choose random. So choose. Oops. So here's some laughing in the background. Um, choose some students. Random. So choose random, and the function name is also choose random. Yeah. Two more to go. Um, number of tasks. Number of tasks, and the command is. Now I put the show number of tasks. Uh, so that's a little inconsistent, but we'll, we'll stick with that. Tasks, tasks, and the last one is our quit button. Quit. Uh, now we don't actually use uh, quit. Now I can just call it said quit. I used exit here. Um, the command actually is called exit. We don't actually need to create that. That's built in. Um, so actually, I probably should call this button exit. Let's just be a little bit more consistent. So let's do that. Um, so now I need to go up here and create all of those functions. So same thing. I'm just going to copy that. Two. Okay, so we had add task, um, we had delete task, let's see here, so we had, oops, add task, which we've done, um, delete all, uh, I think we had delete one, uh, sort uh, ascending, we had sort descending, uh, choose random, and number, show number of tasks or number of tasks? Show number of tasks. Oops. Show number of tasks. I think that was the last one. So let's uh, run it and see what we get. Okay, and we've got everything except for we we missed the list box. So let's uh, go ahead back and do that one. Last one is okay, start of period two. Okay, so I'm going to call us LB for list box, and I'm going to call it tasks because that's what we're putting our tasks in. TK enter dot list box, and we need to put the parent. That's it. So LB tasks dot pack. Okay, so let's run it. And there we go. We've got our 
GUI with our labels. We've got our text entry widget. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons, and we've got our list box. Now, of course, you know nothing's happening yet. Uh, that, that'll be for another stage. But uh, yeah, we're off to a good start. Except, except we'll work. So we'll be back for part two later.